bunch of a lot of rules in this world. Red meat, red wine, white wine with fish, sweet wine with blue cheese. But you having dinner with the toasted hostess. I prepare this tuna with light lemon rub, a pinch of sea salt. You know I have to keep the ocean nearby. Encrusted rosemary sesame seeds and cracked pepper. Couscous to give it a Mediterranean feel and my traditional spinach and strawberry salad. I chose three wines with this. Malbec, Shiraz and a Tempranillo. Bon Appetit! This is a typical meal you'll find on my table. Everybody's different. You have to make up your own mind. Let's start with the Malbec from Alamo. It's a Catena wine from Argentina. This varietal is known for blends in the bigger wines like Bordeaux, South Africa, Italy. Now I see it became a flagship for Argentina. And this name, Malbec, come from a peasant in France. Ripe black cherry, spice, sweet spice, I can taste the cassis. It leaves a touch of leather, soft tenant, nice lingering finish. The sesame seed on the tuna really complements the smoky flavor in the Malbec. Mmm, the wine down under. The Gilded Shiraz from Sinas Estate in Australia. This grape was left longer on the vines than normal. That develops this intense flavor and characteristics. I've been told that these vines have been planted in 1898. Red shiny blackberries, vanilla, pepper spice, full-bodied, Chocolate, mm, mm, mocha, smooth finish. Mm. The pepper spice in this wine blows my hair back. Campo Viejo Crianza Tempranillo. The Bodegas family has planted vines on the plateau with a view overlooking the mountains in the valley in the northern province of Spain. Plum, tobacco and leather, all things I love in a wine. Fruit forward, a hint of wood, that is what pair perfectly well with the shaved almonds on the salad. I love sharing this meal with you. For recipes and other cool stuff in the whole wine world, check out my website, thecorkscrewdiary.tv. Until next time, remember, life is too short. Always drink good wine.